Welcome back to the vlog. I just realised that the other day when I went shopping, I didn't actually pick up any ride food. Today I'm doing three hours, so I need to take some sort of food with me. You can't go wrong with Special K. If you watched the vlog yesterday, you'll know that I basically found two little holes in my tyre, almost. Well, I've had another look this morning and they're bad. I don't think it's going to cause any problems initially. So I'm going to do today's training session and when I get home, get a new tyre. I was going to get one yesterday, but it was Sunday. Today's ride is going to include two sort of main or classified climbs. The first one is this climb that I'm currently going up. It's called Els Angels or Els Angels. Look, my Spanish pronunciation is rubbish, so I'm sorry if I get anything wrong. This climb is about 25 minutes in length and it's good and bad. It's good because it's a climb straight out of Girona. Like you don't have to ride very far until you're into a decent climb. But then on the other end of the spectrum, it's bad because you don't get any warm up period. There's a lot of trees in Girona. Pretty much this whole climb is covered in trees. Until you get right to the top, there's like no view, just trees. <laughs> trees everywhere. That monastery up there, that means we're at the top of the climb. Now for the fun bit. I really did overdress today. I ended up taking my gloves off and my balaclava. I'm boiling. The problem is between like nine and 10, it's freezing. It's like one degrees. And then from 10 o'clock onwards, it warms right up to like 12, 15 degrees. Heading out towards the coast today. I'm not actually gonna get all the way to the coast. I'm just heading in this direction because the roads this way are mainly flat. Except from those two classified climbs, it's a mainly flat route. And the reason I'm sticking to a mainly flat route is because today I'm doing three hours uh, endurance with a few, a couple of sets of uh, short sprints. So the goal or the outcome of a ride like this pretty much is to just improve your, your endurance. Whereas at the same time starting to bring the leg speed up a little bit because obviously we are coming towards the season now. I need to start improving that top end speed and top end power. Just starting the ascent of the second and final uh, big climb on today's ride. I think this climb is about six or seven K and I'm so hot now. I've even undone my jacket to try and cool me down a little bit. And I also forgot to take this aero lid off. In the UK, I just keep the aero lid on during the winter to keep my head a little bit warmer, but it's too warm now. <laughs> Made it to the top of the climb, but this is the view when there's no trees in the way. It's quite misty behind here today, but on a clear day, you can see uh, the Andorra mountains and the snow on top of the mountains. And Girona is there. And that's where I'm heading back to now. I was just heading back into town when I managed to hitch a ride on Tom Shoon's and Dan Craven's wheel. Dan Craven probably has the coolest beard in professional cycling. That was pretty cool. Home. Just home from training. I'm going to chill out for a bit before I go and get a new tyre. It didn't actually feel too bad today. I couldn't, like, you wouldn't be able to notice, you wouldn't be able to tell that there's a hole in the tire, but I just know in my mind that there is a hole and I just wasn't pushing it as much as I probably could do on a descent. So for my own peace of mind and safety, I'm just gonna get a new tire. So I've been informed that the Catholic do some uh, Michelin tires and the price of this Yeah, 
Join Pro 700 by 25 c This will do. This cracks me. They've got about 20 people in the queue. Two cashiers. So I just rode down to the bin to drop off the old tyre to throw it away because I've got no use for it anymore. And I'm interested to try out this Mitchell and tyre. In the past I've not really had a good experience. I bought a pair of wheels once which came with uh, Mitchell and tyres. I ended up doing two rides on them before I, I, took, I took them tyres off and put some Continental tyres on. I went out in the rain and they were just like, terrible. It was like it was literally like riding on ice. But I've read some reviews and supposedly Michelin tires have improved a lot. They've got a lot better. They've developed them a lot. So I'm hoping they're going to be much better. But hey, it doesn't really rain around here, so I think I'm going to be okay. It's getting cold. A few people have said in the comments that they're interested in coming to Girona and they're looking for somewhere to stay and they're asking me to recommend them a place to stay in Girona. I'm actually staying with a, a friend of mine who is an Irish guy who moved to Girona a few years ago. He's an editor on uh, Sticky Bottle which is an Irish cycling website. I'm sure a few of you are Irish and I'm sure a few of you know what Sticky Bottle is but basically he rents out rooms to cyclists who want to come to Girona to train and it's probably the cheapest accommodation you're going to come across in Girona. It's perfect for a training camp and you're in a cycling environment. So if you're interested in that I'm going to put a link to his Facebook page in the description of this video. Send him a message on Facebook. Tell him that Cycling Camp sent you and it'll look after you. But that's gonna be the end of the vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you're enjoying Girona just as much as I am. Please smash that thumbs up button if you are doing. And I'll see you tomorrow.